Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I am happy to announce the release of Strata Launch as part of my planes pack and I have fixed the issue with the control surfaces. Previously they were visually rotating in the wrong direction even though they seem to function and what fixed it was actually removing the control surface as a child of the main surface. So uh, basically they're still the same part but in Unity, uh, the control surface apparently has to be separate. Uh, it, it used to be that the main surface was the parent and then there's the control surface transform and then the actual control surface as a child of the transform. But anyway, it's a complicated thing, but it ended up fixing it. So let's just leave it at that. Um, there are other quirks to this. Uh, for some reason, it likes to bounce on the landing gear on uh, appearing on the runway so I tend to put it on launch clamps it is a very big plane and otherwise uh, its uh, mass here does depend on what engines you're using here I've got these General Electric CF680 E1s these are not part of the mod what engines you decide to use are based is based on what version of advanced jet engines you're using, whether, whether you have the extended version of advanced jet engines, I believe that would help. So I'll provide the craft file, but you'll need to make sure that you have advanced jet engines and the, advan uh, the extended version of advanced jet engines for that to work. I'm also using the stock landing gear on this. Other than that, uh, the parts are what they are. The body and the center wings, the bodies and the center wings are just one piece. And then the other pieces are the wings, which are symmetrical, and then the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers. So one, two, three, four different kinds of parts, and that's it. Very plain texture, but then Strata Launch looks very plain. If you any cargo, it doesn't have any problem even getting off the stock runway. Even though it has a full load of kerosene, 200,000 liters of kerosene. I do recommend reducing the load of kerosene if you intend to fly it with a payload. I gave the body plus central wings stock body lift, or stock lift, because otherwise with FAR I don't know how to give that sort of shape lift without it being asymmetrical. So that helps. But the main hold up with it was the control surfaces actuating in the wrong direction. Like this it certainly doesn't have any problem picking up speed. With a load though, uh, make sure to pick up speed before trying to ascend otherwise you're going to get yourself into trouble. I don't have uh, Cape Canaveral HD in this particular install, that's why we have the runway jutting out there. This install mainly uses 10 Pico. But I actually want to see if Strata Launch can land on the stock runway, so that is why we are here. Or the stock runway as resized by Realism Overhaul, I don't know if it's a different length. As far as the cockpit is concerned, it's just a Mark III cockpit. So if you have raster prop monitor for the Mark III cockpit, it'll still work. The windows will not look the way they're supposed to for strata launch, but not too bad actually. While the wings have ailerons, they don't have air brakes. So if you want air brakes, you'll have to add those. Then again, it, it doesn't take too much to slow it down. Well, now I could use some air brakes. Okay. Oh, 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 don't be slow right here. Okay, brakes. Oh boy. I don't think we have enough runway. This probably has happened before too. 
okay um air brakes or maybe even drag shoots might be necessary if you have a short runway like this are we gonna end up floating in the water i can wiggle the ailerons to maybe help slow down okay no buoyancy test this time right well back to the space plane hangar so I'll provide the craft file, but it sort of depends on you having the right mods to go along with it. Especially, uh, probably tweak scale for landing gear, right? I have scaling here, and then the right mods for the engines. Uh, as far as putting it together, uh, unfortunately a lot of stuff pops up with strata launch for reasons I don't understand. But they will all be alphabetized as strata launch. So the bodies. Again, the textures aren't like super or anything, I admit. Wings are symmetrical, and feel free to use them for other things. Then the vertical stabilizers, they're like that. It's so because of the control surface has to be a uh, certain orientation in unit. Two clicks with it will at least get them looking about right. You could probably tweak them a little bit more than that, but uh, with snap-on, two clicks with it to rotate. Seems like this bit is a little bit buried, so I would probably go so far as to pull it out and rotate it like this, and so to try and make it more proper. But anyway, two clicks will be fine. That little front bit of the vertical stabilizer, I don't know if far is gonna care about it too much. And then the horizontal stabilizers, they have nodes on there. And with Strata Launch, mostly the control surfaces are straight out. It's a very, very sort of straight line oriented plane. <laughs> the wings are very straight, the horizontal stabilizers are very straight, so yeah. Okay, so that's that. That's part of the plane spec. Um, it's, it's not a very high detailed plane. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have other planes coming up soon, though. That took a little bit more work. So the mod will be in the video description. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.